Alright, we are back for more of Dawn of Darkness, and we are going to play Chuck Valley. I'm sure there will be a lot of Chucks in this valley. The Chucks will rule supreme over all creatures. Stand in our way, and you will get exterminated. I disagree with that. I will die to a bullet bill. I will not die to a Chuck. I will die to a bullet bill. I, I choose how I die. Thank you very much. So... Right after this, uh, well actually I'm waiting for a phone call, but until that comes, I will be recording Pokemon after this, so boy, that Chug just put me into freaking panic mode. Alright, that was my own fault, should've waited that out. Okay, okay. That was my own fault for saving in midair, too. Okay. Ah, <sighs> I thought I could clear that, but anyway. Waiting for a phone call after this, and then, uh, gonna record to Pokemon. May go ahead and start, uh, Modern Warfare tonight, or just, I'm just gonna restart that whole thing. Like, I, I have, like, five or six videos from it, like, when I did it before, but, like, the, the freaking, the quality was just so not good, because I don't, I don't know what was wrong with Fraps, but like like I said before, it, it, it baffles me what went wrong, because my computer has more than enough resources to run that game and record it. So, I'm just at a loss for what happened, but um, I'm going to re-record it and try to make it better quality this time, with little to no lag. Okay, back, okay. Yeah, with little to no lag, if at all possible, okay. Gotta wait till that guy is at a lower point before I jump. I have to not short hop, okay. But, um... Alright, gotta... I thought I saw a sp like a, one of those silver springboards fall down. I think I saw a coin up there. I think I got jumped on or attacked by a chuck, which is good. Uh, okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and redo that. And, I've decided that I am actually going to die to something I couldn't even see. Okay. What is it I'm supposed to do here? Again, we went a little over with the monsters, so we have, um, have a lot of stuff on the screen. A lot of slowdown. But, um, anyway. I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some, um, RTS games. Because that's, uh, other than fighting games, that's probably, could you please jump? Fine. I'll come kill you. The penalty for not jumping in this hack is death. Ask me how I know. But I'll probably, uh, start doing some RTS games. Because I freaking love that genre of games. Don't know why that blue shell is there. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh. Sir, did you turn your vertical scroll on? No, I don't believe you did. Okay. Vertical scroll is not turned on. Whatever. Or maybe that was just there so you could, like, not get stunned. Or, you, you know, you could be off the ground and not get stunned by those guys. Oh, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing, um, some RTS games, because I love those games. Primarily, um, probably Age of Empires 3. Oh, God. Aquamarine C. Yeah, Age of Empires 3. Ah, right, Super Mario 64 music. Age of Empires 3 will probably be the first big, um, RTS game that I do. I have, like, one or two videos up for Age of Empires 2. Um, it was the Conqueror's expansion. I freaking love Age of Empires, man. And, like, it was, um, I wasn't even, like, you know, really being serious. I was just showing off, like, my goth speed engine. The seas here are a warm area overall. The icebergs are only frozen because of the creatures that make it their home. Okay. If you're wondering what that annoying sound was just then, I was adjusting the microphone. But, so yeah, then um, then after that, I'm probably going to do, like, since uh, Barn and I are doing Left 4 Dead 2, we'll probably just do, like, some 
different rounds and stuff. Like, I, I'm, I may just do single player campaigns and let he and I just do uh, the random other modes or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm, what I mean is I'm going to do one mode myself probably and let him do one because I want to get that done. Because I want to do Dead Island pretty soon, hopefully. And there's a keyhole and there's Mrs. Puff. So I don't want to have, you know, Dead Island and then follow that up with a Left 4 Dead. I'm not going to do the first one. Well, I shouldn't say never, but I'm probably not going to do it. I'll just do the second one and then do Dead Island later on, more than likely. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Nice. Okay, see, that that was easy to find. That, oh, no. And I still screwed it up. Oh, yeah. Give me the star. Near the star. And let's go crazy. Wow. Holy glitch, Batman. Dude, look at that. That was freaking... Wait a minute. I want to do that again. Look at that. You can just, like, hit the one freaking torpedo Ted while you're invincible and rack up, like, what was that? Five, six, seven lives? Now entering Porky Puffer territory. Do not swim here. I repeat, do not swim here. Uh, well, then you want to provide me with a submarine or something so I can cruise instead of swim? I am so getting hit here. Yep. Unavoidable. Unavoidable. But what am I to do? But anyway, yeah, so after Pokemon gets finished up, we're going to go on to restart Call of Duty. Shouldn't take me that long to do it. The game really isn't, the campaigns aren't really that long. Then after that, I am uh, probably going to do Left 4 Dead 2, and then we'll go ahead and um, start Arkham Asylum for SCS, and then move on to Arkham City. So yeah, we got, got a lot of you know, future plans, and that's not even counting the, the RTS game that I'm going to do, because certain channels seem to really like RTS, and you know, maybe I could just catch their attention, entity, hint, hint, as you play Virgin Iceberg. So I, I mentioned in a previous video that Barn was, um... Barn and I were um, going to McDonald's last night, and we saw a freaking car driving on the wrong side of the road. And he, uh, I, I gotta tell him this, but like my friend said, they saw the same, um, the same car last night, and it was like basically just like five miles away from where we saw it, or five miles before before we saw it, roundabout, still on the wrong side of the road. And I was like, you know, we saw the same car. And I, I asked them, I was like, did you call the cops? And they're like, well, no. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, I, I didn't, you know, want to get the guy in trouble. And I'm like, uh, you know, hello, he's, he's driving, or she, like I said, it was probably a woman. Was like, you know, she's driving on the wrong side of the road, definitely endangering herself and others. So, you know, I, I don't want to cause anyone any grief either. I'm not going to be the guy who, you know, calls 911 and is like, uh, this, this guy's sticker is expired by a, by a month. But I'm, you know, if someone's driving the wrong way, on a major, look at this guy, on a major, you know, uh, majorly congested route, or usually it is, I'm, I'm gonna do something. Those must be the creatures keeping this iceberg frozen. Better not let them hit me with, okay. So I, I, I assume those freeze me. I'm going to assume that and not test it. I'm going to go against the scientific, um, scientific, uh, attitude. What is it? Uh, believe nothing, question everything. Which now these days is sign like we're in um, neo modernism, which means so many scientific theories have gotten debunked. They just, in lieu of saying they were wrong, they just like neo modernism now just basically says, "Hey, there is no truth." Which you know, if there is no truth, then what's the point of you know studying for facts? Because usually facts will lead you to the truth. But whatever, I am no scientist, but I do love science for no other reason than that really hot girl is in there. And we are lab partners, and it is epic. But, other than that, you know, science is not really my, uh, my forte. She even mentioned that too, she's like, I gotta tell you, I'm really bad at science. And I was like, you know, it's not my best subject either, don't worry about it, so. And plus, you know, I, got, I don't know if I mentioned this in the past video, but she's a freshman, so she, you know, she's really impressionable. You know, here I am, you know, this, uh, senior, and I'm basically falling off this edge, and like, I'm basically, you know, Telling her, oh, you know, I play seven instruments. I'm in a band. I, I train MMA. Her, her, derp. D didn't mention the fact that I, I play video games poorly for the amusement of other people. 
I'm sure you know if we get you know if we hang out enough I'll tell her one day. But you know for now it's it's my dirty little secret, if you will. Okay, I I gotta figure out where to use this thing. Okay. I think I know maybe where I'm supposed to use this. Okay. Okay, there's a springboard. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, there's a door. Okay, what do you say? This level has no key, however. Using your imagination, keys can be used for a whole lot of other things. It may be vital to you. Does that mean I'm gonna have to, like, stand on a key to reach a door that's, like, one spread off the ground? Okay, I've seen that before. Like, that's... Now I can, uh, I can do that. Okay. Evidently gonna need a piece switch there. Okay. I'm gonna try to, yeah, get him before he gets me. Okay, there is probably where he was talking about that I need the, the thing. Oh, okay, I see what he was, I see what you're getting at. No! Okay. Right, these last few levels have not been so bad, except for you know, when I'm trying to jump up here and I can't make the jump. Yeah, that's definitely where I need to be. But I can't get over there. Wait a minute. Okay, but I still can't get over there. I need a... Clearly, I need a silver P-switch to... Yeah, to run through here and then put that key there so can I leave you here I really hope you don't disappear okay we need to find a silver P switch ASAP silver P switch is top priority calling all cars calling all cars find me a silver P switch and please do it very swiftly all right probably over here somewhere. I probably just missed it. Okay, let's see. There's something up there. That's just a stupid coin. Alright. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. You can't live. Neither can you. Neither can you. Okay, I'm confused on how to get that over there. Okay, okay, here's a P-switch. Alright, I have a P-switch. Now, I need to... Okay, now I have two P-switches. Hmm. Okay. I officially have two P-switches. I don't know what in the... Okay, there's another P-switch. I'm assuming that I don't need, like, all of these. Maybe there's just, like, a few scattered about, like, for some reason. To tell you the truth, I'm kind of confused. Which isn't... Okay, now that's... Okay, now I have a springboard, too. So, let's see. Okay. Alright. Now... Okay, I'm gonna go... Okay, the key's still there. That's good. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright. Now, if I just put this here... Press it. Okay. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna need... I bet... Okay. Then I'm gonna need to go get... Uh, one more P-switch. Let's see. I'm gonna go down here. Where I'm at a line of fire. Need to go get one more P-switch, and then something to knock that stupid thing over. Okay, I got you. I got you. So. And then, I assume I can go through that blue door after that. So, we will do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.